NASA made a big announcement this morning as the organization makes plans to send its first crew to the moon in 50 years. Four astronauts will fly around the moon by the end of next year. The crew includes NASA's Reed Wiseman, Victor Glover and Christina Cook and Canada's Jeremy Hansen. Gio Benitez reports. Two, one, boosters in ignition and liftoff of Artemis 1. After that successful Artemis 1 test mission, sending the Orion capsule around the moon and back, Splashdown. NASA is prepping for Artemis 2, which will take four astronauts around the moon for the first time since the end of the Apollo program 51 years ago. And you, my friend, I know you are very excited to potentially be an astronaut going to the moon someday. Well, you know what? I'm excited that it's just a reality that we're going to send people to the moon, whether it's myself or one of my good friends. Whatever aspect of that mission I get to be a part of, I'm just happy that we are doing it. I get to be a part of the we no matter where I'm sitting. This mission is expected to make history. We will have the first woman. We'll have the first person of color that will be on the surface of the moon. Astronaut Jasmine Mugbelli, also on the list to go to the moon, says the original Apollo missions only explored a small region of the moon. And you think about going to Earth, if you just went to one spot, you might find very different things in another region. And so this time we're going to the south pole of the moon. And what they find there could lead to someday launching from the moon and going deeper into space. You know, when humans yeah. do great things, we call them moonshots. And now our generation has a moonshot. It's a really exciting time. That journey is expected to last about 10 days and will send the crew out beyond the moon, potentially further than any human has traveled in history, though the exact distance still has not been determined. It will also pave the way for an Artemis 3 mission expected later this decade.